Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, um, we have just finished our reaving. We are finally at positive prestige. People are starting to respect us. We have a lot of money. And uh, it looks like the uh, Iron Isles might get elective succession, which would be interesting. My lead, since I arrived in Harla Hill, there's never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Your humble marshal, Lend Lydon. Let us hope so. We also do want to attack over here when we get the chance, but uh, it's not going to happen. Still says he has 8,000 men. Oh wait, no, I was looking at the wrong thing. He has 8,000 men, but he hasn't raised them for some reason. That's weird. Um, travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more. That Elena Magar narrates gold scale into battle. Gold scale being... Balerian's uh, child. Uh, okay, cool. That's uh, interesting again. Right. Oh, we can see nothing over there. Are they not in the war anymore? They are in the war. Um, Josmond, treasurer of Harlow, has asked us to join his... Uh... Anyway, to the glorious Lord Adric, may you live in harmony and contentment. Please support me by voting with me in the council. If you agree to do this for me, I'll henceforth or your favour. No, we said no last time. Say no again. Uh, how many men does it say this guy has now? Still 8,000. I don't know why it says he has 8,000 men when he's being sieged. That seems unlikely. Anyway. King Andrew the Mad has inherited the Lordship of Last River from Lady Marna of Last River. Okay, because she died. That's fair enough. Uh, my lord, it has come to my attention nobody has been designated regent for Harlow Hill should the realm need it. Needless to say, this is a perilous position as surely Squabble and Rivalry will emerge without clear leadership. I help with petition you name me designated regent to avoid this sort of trouble. Sure. You and me, Destiny Regent, you've been our spy master for long enough. I mean, if you were going to kill us, you would have done it already. King Byron of Westeros declared the Westeros Pentoshi War of Emancipation on Magister Luko of Pentos. So he's declared a war to uh, free the slaves over there. Cool. The Reach uh, is winning their war uh, against Dorne for the same thing. Um, but they are losing the Night's Watch War. Yes. Land is consumed by dragon fire, and Lena Targaryen is responsible for it. Of course she's responsible for it. She's always responsible for it. Rickon Stark died of gonorrhea. Uh, a Stark. Um, ah, father of uh, King Andru. How many men do you have now, Pike? Still 8,000, somehow. I'm amazed that they continue to only get eight th have 8,000. A castle has been finished uh, construction in Dragonstone. Uh, Dragonstone be Yeah, okay, there. For some reason I thought Daymore held Dragonstone, but he only holds uh, Claw Isle. In fact, he's independent right now. Hmm. Okay. He's also lived a very long time. Oh, Ash Marcus flipped on the rock. Uh, for some reason. They went neutral. Okay. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, Fernie, is pregnant. Some more prestige. I'm actually hoping the siege goes through and that uh, they get absolute like all their lands destroyed. They only have 6,000 men left. We have about 2,000. If their land goes a little bit lower, we can possibly get a high lordship for our wife. Who died? Harrig died a natural death. Uh, Harrig uh, is the father of Havium. Your vassal, Master Tom, was long thought dead. His ship struck down by the storm god whilst at sea. Yet here he is now, striding through your hall, and he has changed. He is wearing a rough spun robe. He's wearing rough spun robes and carrying a driftwood cudgel. He says the drowned. He says he was drowned, and yet the drowned god chose to spare him. He will now devote his life to serving him. What is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. So Tom has become drowned. Interesting. Uh, my young courtier has finished his education, military strategy, and command. It turned out less well than expected. Oh well. Dalton Pike. Yeah. We didn't really care about him, but that's fine. Um, I really wish these men would continue to drop as quickly as they are. 5,000. There's going to be a very small amount of time we can actually attack for this land, so I'm trying, I'm trying to keep an eye out for it. At some point we'll be able to do it, no doubt. But, uh, I assume we are, we are able to declare on him, right? No, we're not able to declare? Go have a valid cast his belly. We have our wife's claim. A strong claim on the High Lordship of Pike. 
Hmm, interesting we couldn't press that. A son was born to Gary Gary and Tala of the t uh, uh, of the tower named Sorry. A son was born to Gary Gary and Tala of the Tower of the Glimmering named Feniel. So Feniel Gary. Okay. My young courtier has finished his education in bookkeeping and administration. He has attained nothing less than a masterful level of knowledge. He's a brilliant steward. Uh, that is the uh, son of Haviam the Bold, our friend. Fantastic. My liege, blessed upon you and your house, I've discovered a plot where Grey Worm seeks to replace Gunnar Maring as Castilian. Hmm. Definitely not acceptable. Uh, the war is going in favor of... Uh, Yes, in favor of King Roland right now. We are on that right. We are on that side of the war, right? Yes. I guess we can't declare on these guys because we're not in the same realm anymore. Uh, yeah, that's probably it. We're not in the same realm, even though we're in the same war. So it'd be a bit odd if we were like our lieges were on the same war, but we were attacking. We would have to declare independence from our liege, then attack. I think that's why. As a reigning lord, I really have any spell ti spare time, but for my little son Vicken, I would move heaven and earth, family first. Good, glad we're still focusing on family. And um, we might change it at some point to something else. Maybe we could start some intrigue. And that could be something. Uh, Gorn Taltok was set up the chieftain of the fist of the first men from Borog Illigrand. Okay. It might be time to switch up our focus. Like either to war or to uh, intrigue, I think, would be our best options. I don't know. We'll see. Um, how is our, um, like, how many men do we have currently? That, that's a good idea to look at. We were actually at our max level of men. If we were to increase our marshal, we'd be able to get more out of it. Hmm. Maybe we'll go to war just before we declare war. That makes sense. A daughter was born to Lord Adric of Harlow Hill and Lady Fernie of Harlow Hill named Selyse. Hmm. Okay. Good. We have lots of children now. As Railing Lord, I really have spare time, but for my young son Vikran, I would move heaven and earth. Vikran, sorry. And we like him quite a lot. We could always acknowledge his inheritance, and he would lose the trait disinherited. We do like him, I suppose. We could do that. We'll, ignore, we'll acknowledge his inheritance. So he is now in line to the throne. Well, to the uh, castle. He is uh, second in line now. Okay. And that was Ralph Storm. Uh, Lavake has died of poor health. She was married to Hadron Sapris, who has three children now. We have an unmarried heir. Urus Serpentil should get married. That is right. He is 14. He should get married. Um, who do we want to marry him to? We could marry him. Uh, wait, can we attack Pebbletown? No, oh, we don't have any reason to declare war on anyone. We should probably try and get a claim on that, if we could. Uh, right. We are diligent. There we are. That's my uh, logic, is that we're diligent and we don't not want land, and he's weaker than us and independent. He's not weaker than us, but he might be weaker than us in the future. Heir should get married. Uh, who do we want to marry our heir to? Uh, is there not a um, ironborn person over here? Yes. Well, we you were he was being educated by an ironborn, but not anymore. Um... Well, we'll look for it. Let's let's just do a quick look. So, we're looking for a woman who is my religion, uh, doesn't have to be my culture. Is uh, an adult is not necessary. Is a ruler? No. Is married? I think she could be a ruler. Is married? Has to be no. In prison? Has to be no. Right. Uh, and what we're we looking for? I don't know. Let's go for age and let's see if we get anyone. Well, actually, is there anybody who has land? Let's start with that. Nobody has land. Let's start by age, then. We'll go all the way down. Looking at about 13, 15, and then we'll keep going along. Uh, so, no, no, Serpentail uh, is not really a good option. Drum, Asher Drum. Uh, Zealous, Brave, Temperate, Wrath. She could be a good option. She has weak claim on Old Wick. Quanda uh, as another option. She is from 
much further away. She's from uh, Wallano. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah, he was the custom guy, and Quanda is his uh, sister. Okay. Who he must have converted, right? Yeah, he must have converted. Uh, just want to close that. Uh, Joy, no. Frenya Farwind has a weak claim on the Lordship of Peloton. Could be. Ravel Grey Garden, uh, no. Asha Meyer is the granddaughter of Lord Cottermeyer. That would be a good match for him. Victoria Harlaw could be an option. Um, it is a noble house, and this is where she w would have come from. I think she's probably the oldest we would look for. Um, Asha Meyer is definitely an option, but maybe if we want to go younger, uh, Asha Drum is definitely a better option. I think Asha Drum will probably work. Let's arrange a marriage between Asha Drum and Urus Serpentail. Yes. Uh, we gain some prestige and uh, from marrying into uh, like a lord's house. It's fine. Uh, news from old Volantis, my lord. During the war in Volantis, the dragon rider Cirilla, uh, rider of Deathwing, and Quava Vassar, rider of Arcur of uh, Arcranion, met in fierce combat, driving the dragons to tear at each other relentlessly. Quavo and Arcarian prevailed, killing Deathwing. Oh no! That's uh, he's dead. He's gone. Oh well. Um, what a dance it must have been. Yes, definitely want to get information about that. Asha Drum has arrived at your court. Perfect. Uh, can we arrange a marriage? No, I think we have to wait for an event or something. There we go. Earth Serpent Tail and Asha Drum have gotten married. It's customary for a dowry to be paid to the groom's house. Um, well, it's everyone's concern. We will ask him for the money. Lord, my lord, Lord Thomar has sent you the diary that was drew. I must say it was most generous. Uh, much gold and silver was offered, and probably more than the worth of the bride. How generous. News from old Volantis, my lord. During the war in uh, Volanta, uh, dragon riders Quavar Vassar, rider of Ar Arcranion, and Elena Megar, rider of Goldskill, met in fierce combat, driving the dragons to tear each other relentlessly. Elena and Goldskill prevailed, killing Arcranion. Arcranion is dead. Uh, and that was uh, with Quavo Vassar. Oh, no, Elia. Yeah, Quavo Vassar is only imprisoned, not dead. But what a dance that must have been. Yes. Oh, we can go into hiding? Uh, I think. Oh, we can host a wedding feast. Never mind. Uh, I forgot that it can be used for multiple things, that icon. I've given the orders for a grand ceremony and feast to be hosted in Lannisport in honor in honor of Earth Serpent Tail and Asha Drum's wedding. Let the preparations begin. All my vassals will be there, obviously. Let's uh, see how it goes. Should be fine at a wedding. Also, I'd like to point out, our son is about to become of age before we die. That's, that's, that's crazy. The best part about holding a wedding is organizing the whole event. Um, we could spend lavishly, we could spend all the money we just got. I think we'll spend enough to make it nice though. I can spend all the money we just got. Most of the preparations for the wedding have been made. Now I only have to send out the invitations. Dear Adric, thank you for the invitation, but I'll not be able to attend the wedding. In fact, I refuse to set my foot in the same castle as you. Respectfully, Master Tom. I don't like you either. Well, I thought I liked you, but I think it's because he's ill he decided not to come. The conjurer produced a rabbit from a hat, then made a handkerchief change colour from brown to red, and he simply vanished from the room, only to knock on the door and open it a few seconds later. You must perform at my feast, definitely. Everyone was talking about the musicians, and I finally had some time off my preparations from the feast so I could see them with my own eyes and hear them with my own ears what people were talking about. The musicians were good and they were looking for a patron. Sure, we'll give you our patronage. <laughs> Queen Tanya of the Reach died after a period of illness. Talk about that, how's the Reach's war going? They're almost done, they've almost uh, freed Dorn slaves. Now, if I remember right, this war will also put them underneath the Reach. I could be wrong about that. Lord Salise of Legood Keep has accepted Lord Mantris of the Rose Road's peace offer. So the Gardener lost the land and the Celticars gained it. Yes. Storm King uh, Julian of the Stormlands inherited the castle. Okay. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. Servants have worked day and night to prepare and decorate the dance hall. Asha's gown is splendid and the castles never looked lovelier. Welcome to the wedding. 
Carter Meyer, Urith of the Tower of Glimmering, and Master Saragon of Harden Hill have all arrived. Now, Asha Drummond, Urith Serpent Hill, stand before the drowned gods to take up a holy vow of marriage. The great lords and ladies of Harla Hill look on as the greatest arms of House Serpent Hill around the bride do finally seal their marriage. And now for the feast. Um, this war seems to have ended. Um, Lord Harren of Pike lost. He's imprisoned, in fact. Um, as is Lord Hagen the Magnificent. Lord Harren doesn't have that many troops. Could we declare war? No. Must be our leech or vassal of our leash. Oh. <coughs> Arjana is no longer a spy master. She died of something. I assume those white lines in her. Maybe that's just the death thing for their culture? For the Summer Islanders? I don't know, it doesn't seem to have any th negative things on her. It's a period of illness, she died. Uh, I guess we need a new spy master. Well, we could have her wife, but you never put your wife as a spy master because you only get, um, you don't get the full benefit of having a wife and a spy master. Damon Targaryen, um, he does not like us. What do we think about him? Um, uh, I don't want to click on it because I know it opens them. How, how would we find our opinion of him? If we hover over, does that tell us? It's always difficult to find out. Yes. Uh, negative six. Okay. Um, Meredith. We kind of like her. She'll do. I think. Or we can have Urus of the Terror of the Glimmering for one less. Actually, let's have Urus of the Terror of the Glimmering. Because he's got a uh, title. We'll get him to scheme in Harlaw Hill. King Harmon's invasion of the Night's Watch ended. Lord Commander Giles of the Night's Watch won. Well done, Night's Watch. All the wars are ending. Uh, what's up with our liege? Is he still imprisoned? Still imprisoned. Lord Mantris of the Rose Road revoked the Lordship of Lagood Keep from a Silese Gardener. The wars between the great powers of the realm have subsided for now. Until next time. The feast is winding down now, only the bedding remains. Urus and Asha are stripped of all garments for the revolution, make many a body joke along the way, they're finally bundled into the bedchamber where they're finally left alone, a fine tradition. Yes. The morning after the wedding feast has come and all lords and ladies are finally making their way home. All agree it's a fine celebration, many put it in newlyweds will be most uh, content. I had great fun, so did everyone else. Good, uh, and is she pregnant? No. Okay. There is a 33% chance, I believe, so worth checking. Uh, Lord Peter the Lude accepted Iron King Roland of the Iron Isles offer to join the Guild, the Gold War Road for the Iron King Roland's claim on the rock. Okay, so he's declared a war on the rock, which he is losing severely. Okay. Um, I think it's our laws that are stopping us from attacking these guys over here. Um, they're probably... Um, uh, Kingdom of the Iron Owl Laws. Uh, we need to go the next one up. Lord High Lordship of Harlow. Um, maybe it's the next one up? Yeah, Kingdom of the Iron Owls. Controlled Realm Inheritance. Vassal title inheritance is um, not allowed to pass to another realm. That's not it. Realm Authority, minimum. Um, nope. Faith Authority? Don't think so. I know there's a law in there somewhere that would allow us to attack, but currently that law does not exist. Fair enough. How's the Reach's War going? It is going very well. My lord, it's come to my attention. Yes, Asher, you can be my regent. You've asked enough times. It's fine. And you have been my regent for a long time anyway. Uh, like It says we can press our weak claim on Pike now. But we can. We could try and rescue this guy from prison. Uh, we claim on the High Lordship of Pike? Or Heart? Hmm. Weird that it doesn't allow us to do anything about that. Um, I was just seeing if there were any other options around here. Like we could always claim the High Lordship of Harlow. Which wouldn't be uh, great. But we could do that if we wanted to. It'd be very out of character. Yeah. I don't know why. It says we can press it, but it's not giving us the option to press it. It's a little bit annoying. It's fine, though. But it'd be nice to be able to press that. Yes, we're going to have to get out from underneath uh, our uh, kinsman. 
we could always uh, say that we're doing it for the good of uh, like uh, all of our family, but it, it feels like it's a little bit breaking the RP. I don't know how you feel about that. You can tell me, but it'll be five episodes before I'll find out, so uh, please do tell me what you think and I can use it for next time. Uh, to the great Lord Adric, please support me by voting with me in the count, so if you do agree to do this for me, I will henceforth owe your favour. No. But we will end the episode here. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.